So I'm taking this opportunity to talk to all of you. I've got my, as you can see, I got a little sunburned yesterday, even having put sunblock on. I've got my phone jerry-rigged up on a on my backpack with um, with a, a coffee cup supporting the back so that it's sort of tipped. But the backpack is a little on, it's a little, you know, like this. So the whole video is a little, so don't think that there's something wrong with you or your screen. It's actually that the phone is tipped and I can't. We're working with what we got here. All right, so where we last stopped was my husband was on the phone with Avis. And the guy at Avis told us, it's no problem. I've gotten, I've secured another car for you. You just have to drive three hours to this other Avis place and swap it out. So we thought, well, this is great. We can do that. We'll, we'll drive three hours. It's worth it. This car is, you know, sounds like the engine's about to fall out every time you accelerate. It's going to be okay. And we decided that we were going to make this drive, which means we drove, we drive through Zion. And I'm going to post pictures of some of the things you see just driving through Zion because it's just magnificent from the car. I mean, I wasn't even getting out of the car, just from the car, the things that you see. Spectacular. If you've never been to Zion, it is, it is truly magnificent. And we decided we were going to just make this trip as fun as we possibly could. So, so we drive three hours. We get to the deal at this Avis place and my husband goes in and he comes back out and I said, and I'm gathering everything. I've got everything gathered and I've, I'm out the car. I've got all our stuff. I'm ready to go to the new car. And he says, there is no new car. I said, what do you mean? There's no, there is no other car. This guy doesn't have any cars. So we decided, okay, I mean, what are you going to do, right? I did a little video when we were gassing up. I'll put that video in here now. We are, this is the car. This is the car that Avis gave us that they told us that they were gonna swap out. We drove three hours and the guy says, I don't have a car for you. <laughs> so, so this is part of traveling. And I just have to say, you gotta make the best of it. So Richard and I are thinking, okay, we're, we're going to, we're going to make the best of this because that's what you got to do. And otherwise you're miserable, right? But I just keep telling myself that this is part of traveling, that there are glitches and you just got to roll with them because otherwise you really are miserable. I mean, yesterday... <laughs> Yesterday was misery from, I mean, it was, you have to laugh because otherwise you're going to cry. But I tell you, I just feel like this has to be part of the adventure. And if it's not, then it's just going to suck. <laughs> and your trip is going to suck. So... We are going on an adventure today and we're going to drive back up towards Zion and we're going to, we're going to stop all along the way and we're going to take little, little short strolls off to investigate and explore places and we're going to have a good day. It's already noon because we've been driving for three hours. <laughs> And now, now we're going to, we're going to keep having fun. The drive here was pretty lovely. The last 45 minutes or so, not so much, you know, but it's going to be lovely again once we get closer back to, closer to Zion. And it's a gorgeous day. Also hot. All right. Onwards. Okay. Guessing up. 
I do the little video, right? We decide we're going to have a great day. We're going to drive back. We're going to go to through Zion. We're going to stop. We're going to do little hikes. We're going to have a great trip. This is just going to be fabulous. We're going to just turn this whole thing around, right? So we start driving and we're driving. And at a certain point, I say, you know, my GPS is saying we should take the next right. And Richard and my husband said, hey, I, that can't be right. This is the road to go. I said, okay. So we keep going. About another hour, my husband says to me, does this look familiar to you? And, and I said, no, I, I thought we were going on a different road. He said, no, we should be going on the same road that we were on before, but just in the other direction. I said, well, I don't remember seeing those snow-capped mountains ahead. He said, yeah, I don't, this doesn't look right. So I said, well, maybe I should look up GPS because now again, I don't want to pair the phone with the car because we get not only the car voice telling us where to go, but then we get the phone voice. I couldn't figure out how to turn the volume down. We're getting two different voices and sometimes they seem to be giving us different directions. They're not completely synced. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, don't do that. So we pull over, we look at the whole situation and and we see that we are about two hours from where we should be. So we look at the maps and we decide that if we go over, if we just take the road that's right there in front of us where we had stopped and we'll be in Bryce Canyon. So we think, well, that's a great idea. Let's do that. So we do that. And I'm going to post the photos as I'm talking of what we saw in Bryce. Because Bryce is like spectacular. And I'm not sure why it's not as crowded, but there's hardly any, there are very few people there, comparatively speaking. I mean, Zion's packed. Bryce is not, and it is truly magnificent. So we stopped, we did this whole scenic route through Bryce um, and stopped at every point along the way. And now we're gonna go back, not today, but the, I think tomorrow, and we're going to do a five and a half mile loop hike at the, um, I don't know if it's the, I think it's the northernmost part of Bryce. <sighs> so we're at Bryce National National Forest. Is that what it's called? It's Bryce National Park. And these are called hoodoo. Hoodoos. Yeah. Well, and they know that there is a Bryce Point. Amazing. Look, this is just incredible. This is just absolutely, I'm filming. It's hard to believe that this exists. It's really exciting. And also, I'm getting a little vertigo. 
so um, I'm staying back from the edge here, but this is just incredible. This has just been absolutely spectacular. I mean, this is why one travels. This is it. It just makes everything else, I don't know, seem worth it, you know? Because this, this is magic. This is our planet. It's exciting. So I, I'm experiencing a little bit of vertigo. It's a little scary standing here. These things, I mean, we're dropping about a thousand feet, if not more. And um, it's really windy. <laughs> So I've got my, you know, my, my stance like deeply rooted into the earth here so I don't get blown away. Amazing, just amazing. We're a little bit lower down and we're on the other side of this canyon, whereas before we were looking from over there, now we're over here. And it's kind of sidling along the edge here because I don't want to slip, <laughs> fall. <laughs> also, I have a little bit of a fear of heights, so I do get a little frightened if I get too close to the edge. I don't think this video in any way can capture how thrilling it is to stand here and see this in real life. It's just the majestic drama of this is beyond words. Look at this. Look at this. This is called, what is it called? Natural Bridge. Natural Bridge. Just amazing. Absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful. Look at that. Spectacular. So fabulous. So this is Rainbow Point. And we're pretty high up. 9,000, over 9,000 feet. It's getting a little chilly. It's also getting a bit late. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon. Might be even six, I don't know. Pretty spectacular though. 